the new boots. We'll be wearing them for the first time today. What up, babies? How y'all doing today? Are they doing good? Oh, yeah. How y'all doing today? Y'all ready for a snack? Oh, they had a little hole in the bucket for some water. Like they got a little food left. And maybe we got some eggs today. We're gonna get them a snack, get them some water. See if we can't get a jump out of them today. I didn't get a jump this morning, so no snack. I feel bad, but if they don't jump when I can see them, I'm not gonna reward them because it defeats the point. You gotta learn how to do it when I tell you how to do it. That is what the whole snack reward thing is all about. We don't just give out treats for not doing what we're supposed to. So let's go ahead and get some water. Once they teach me they know what they're doing, I expect them to do it. And y'all didn't show me, y'all know what y'all doing. So, we'll just get y'all some water for this morning. Come on, babies. What y'all doing? What y'all about to do? Go. Go do something, please. Take some steps in the right direction, please. There you go. Thank you. We got plenty of food. We got two eggs. Oh, we got three. We got three eggs again. So, three more eggs means we're doing good. <laughs> and what's crazy today the water ain't even deep <laughs> ah look at that ah yeah Hey, good morning, y'all. Good morning, Shaw. Let me give y'all these boots on a on a a nice little presentation. Let me see something here. Hey, there them boys go. We got some new boots on to walk out here in. I feel good. We back in the middle of the creek again, y'all. Ain't no more having to walk on the edge or walking past and being like, 
Oh, I think that's probably too deep. We ain't got to worry about that no more. These boys feel good too. Oh yeah. We just started the day off right. Hey, good morning. Hey, I got to see the commercial on TV for the first time yesterday. It was on Lifetime. My wife was watching Lifetime and I was grabbing something to eat and she was like, it's on. And I ran in the living room and I was like, oh my goodness. That was the first time I got to see the commercial. Oh, look. Your boy having fun again. And guess what? No more clink clink on the side of my boot. I feel like I could be as quiet as I want to. I feel like I could be a ninja out this boy all over again. Hey, so yesterday I did some skating and uh, it's a song. I don't know what it is, but it sounds like some anime, like Ninja Turtle type song. I don't know, but it made me feel like a kid all over again. So I start, I don't know, feeling like I'm skating like a ninja. <laughs> hey, it was great though. And the song just works. It's this dude, I don't know, I don't follow him, but he's like an animated runner. He makes himself look like he's speed running, but he's going nowhere. It's pretty cool looking, actually. It's very cool. Uh, I wish I could mimic it a little bit on skates, but I don't see how I would be able to. Uh, and he never shows his feet because it would take away from the whole appearance of what he's doing. And I'm showing my feet, so. <laughs> I'm trying to combine the two styles. Somewhat, I think I would much rather go with like a slow motion style, like try and move as slow a motion as I can possibly move while still still doing the most difficult moves I can do on skates. Yep, that's gonna be my goal, and that song is gonna be the one that I do that to because I like the popping motion of the sounds and it has so many different beats in it i can choose which beat i want to more easily than i can with most songs so hey those boots held up on that very well i was prepared to slip i had a couple instances where i did slip already but hey this is the perfect time to come out in boots like this hey people who be wanting to know about them this the morning for you this that first walk i'm letting you know what i think right off rip oh oh you hear that you hear that? Hey, so this is the first morning review. And we're going to keep walking on these boys every day. And you'll know how I feel by the end of them, just like I did with the other two. So, this is an honest review on boots. <laughs> hey, the other ones, they were nice, and especially for the price, but they didn't last as long as I expected them to. Now, I'll tell you this. Uh, one of my clients and friends one of my subscribers hey he i'm telling you he always come through much respect to you i don't want to say your name out loud mike <laughs> but anyway he sent me a picture and was like hey man i got my uh iris setters and he sent me a picture of him standing out in the snow in them and i'm just thinking like man i know i chose the right brand you know what i'm saying like it's certain people that when they talk to you, they always talking kind of like either inspirational or business or something. And I'm, t I'm telling you, it's certain brothers that I look to that when they say that they have something that I already or that I have have been using or something that kind of makes me feel like, hey, I know I'm, I feel like I made the right choice. And then he's sitting here saying, I didn't have mine two years. So, hey, I guess I'm saying I'm late to the party, but your boy in the party now, and they feel like it, too. And that's what I mean. It's so much stuff you can learn from other people. I never talked to him about it, but had he told me that he had these and told me about them, I would have listened to his opinion. That's what I mean. I would have valued his opinion, and he knows the lifestyle that I live, like... Like, this is what I do. He sees me do it all the time. Hey, much respect, brother. But then when I saw he had a pair and he had them for two years, it put my mind at ease. Like, yeah, the price was a little high. But what I'm noticing is 
hey when you make your when you make your investments right you don't have to invest as often there we go i guess what i'm saying play a stock that's doing great you don't need to invest as much as you do in one that's not doing great right so i'm saying look to those around you to see what they found value in their lives and it might help you ease up on something in yours don't chase trends which i'm saying TikTok and all these different social medias got me out here chasing trends that way not really i don't feel like i chase a trend see this is how i feel well everything i'm saying out here is how i feel well i have to make that statement we gonna make that correction <laughs> hey man why you have to interrupt <laughs> hey man these boots feel good though that's what i'm thinking about like they powered up the cell still trying to have a conversation about something else but it looked like these boots i'm just thinking about what they doing my toes feel good uh yeah I, I, they might be so warm that my toes might feel like whoop, very easy <laughs> Hey, my boot didn't flop at all. It's on like a glove. It really feels like it's on like a glove. Now, this is the problem. He told me they didn't have no more of these. I got lucky. Blessed. He said lucky. Blessed I was. <laughs> Walked in. He said, all we got is 10s and 14s. I said, I'll take a 10. <laughs> 10 fits great. It feels like my skate. Oh, yeah. And that's not up for debate. These boys feeling good. I ain't been slipping. I did slip, like I said, I slipped one time coming out here. Ooh, I just twisted my ankle right there and it felt great. It supported it. I rolled my ankle and it supported it. So, oh, it rolled it again and it supported it. So, hey, it supported my ankle. My knee felt pretty good. I rolled my ankle like stepped on the side like this a little bit two times and it did very very well at giving me enough time to get my footing <laughs> let's say that because it did it did tweak a little but it didn't hurt it did not hurt so good ankle support another one i just got hit with something back here it looks like one of these things right here where my foot went back uh kind of like this once again another good support so so far i'm saying i'm liking them they doing good these boys are gonna be the boots we walking in from this point on like i was saying it feels like they might be warm enough you saw what kind of sock i put on i did not put on a thick sock that is the kind of sock i wear all the time so when my socks run down in my shoes, I toss those boys, never wear them again. Now the other day, when I was wearing the other boot, that was a wool sock, like a high sock, and it just ran all the way down to my toe. So there was enough signs that said I had to get up out of, out of, uh, out of those boots. Now one thing I do notice, on my left, my left foot, when I was coming down the hill, uh my big toe was jamming the front of my left boot it was not doing that on my right so now my <laughs> it was like my left foot was sliding a little maybe coming down the hill i don't think that that's really a difference that could be a difference in my foot who knows but my left foot did feel different it does feel different now but not in the bad it's not horrible anyway it feels like it should feel walking in cold weather in a snug fitting boot there that's what we should say i don't think they came in half sizes if i would have if would have came in a half size i would have probably done better with a ten and a half maybe but not an 11 like this fits 
like a glove, but I could put on thicker socks if I, and I probably could still put on the thicker sock. It's just gonna be hard to get on and off because this neck is, it's like, maybe it'll loosen up over time, I don't know. First couple times I had to get them off. It wasn't hard to get them off, but, well, I guess it was about the same with the other pair of boots that I just got from And let me just, oh! <laughs> there it is. All right, we don't want to step in, but we do. Here we go. Yep, but we can walk in this now. What I'm worried about. Let's get out here and test it out on the slippery rocks. Yep, and hey, these rocks don't feel slippery at all. Oh, yeah. We about to have a ball. And we can go through deep water and all. <laughs> oh, baby. Let's go. Oh, I don't know if we can go through that, though. And, um, let's see how deep that is. Okay, we can't go no further out than that. So we're going to go back this way for now. Because I can't see through that. Ah! Hey, we ain't done this in a while. Because the other boot wasn't capable no more. I let it go on for way too long. Hey, hey that wasn't that bad. Even that little slip. Hey, so my point being, uh, yesterday was perfect timing yet again. All right. All right. We can do it. How low can you go, baby? I don't know if I can go that low on ice. Let's go over here where it ain't so bad. Right here. All right. We can go under. Because if that broke while I was standing on it, that would suck. Oh, man. All right. We back out in the world, yeah? We ain't got to stick to the trail no more. Yes. And it's not slippery at all. Not slippery. I can move good. You wanna see me low walk with it? Great flexibility of range. The ankles. Supporting it. You can creep if you needed to. Nobody's going to hear you. Great flexibility and range. Oh yeah, baby. These some good boots. You saw it. I just moved through that whole thing like a boss. Wasn't even worried about the cows. We ain't gonna work go over there because we might get lost. No, we ain't gonna get lost. We know where we at. Oh, but look. We ain't been over here. That water ever so clear. Take a look. Yeah, now you can play in that water a little. Oh! We're going over there, don't worry. And let's get that.
All right, so what I ain't tell y'all yesterday was, about yesterday, I guess I should say, a couple things happened. So yesterday is one corner in my neighborhood that's really, really bad. Not bad, like, <laughs> not that kind of bad. I meant bad with snow. Like the plow just did not come through and take care of the snow. So, so it's the corner that my son had to stand at. So, you know, I took Penny. Oh, that looked good from here. Let's get out there as far as I can. Oh, 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 careful. So I took Penny out that boy and cleared the corner. Made it look nice. Gay everywhere. All right. Great stability. It's slippery right there. Very slippery. And I was able to hold my balance very easily in this boot. So I'm having no problems with this boot whatsoever. The flexibility of range has been <laughs> everything. <laughs> I'm wanting to play around in it because look at that. This is ice. I mean, it's not ice, but it's slippery. And they gripping. Yep. Hey, it's a pretty good boot, yeah. Very nice. Best pair I've ever owned. I will say that right now. But this is only my third pair. So. But I'm saying. I feel like I've really moved up. Like, I ain't gonna lie. This feels like. Uh, like I just moved into a better car. I don't know. I mean, I mean, oh, see? Like, I stepped somewhere and it rolled this way. And it, man, it feel like I got support going up to my knee. <laughs> hey, I don't know if I can wear my knee brace and wear this at the, these at the same time. They go up almost that high. Yeah. Hey, yeah. And if they last, which I feel like there's nothing to flop or to tear up. I don't know what could, what was going wrong. Like this don't feel like it's gonna bend and flex like that other one did. It don't feel like it's gonna dry rot. It feels like it's made out of a complete different material. Oh. And see, that's what I'm saying. Even with the moss on the rocks, like look, we can see if we can clear some rock. You see that? I just cleared that area of the rock. It's slippery, but it's not slippery in this boot. Oh yeah. This is a good hiking boot right here. And I feel like from the way it feels on my leg, like even my leg feels warm. So I guess what I'm saying is, I can see how this boot could last a long time. I can see that being a problem too. Because that means I'm just gonna have to buy boots just for the heck of it if I ever wanna do another product review. And what I'm saying is I feel like after today's product review, I'm gonna be done with these reviews for a while. And see, that's the problem with living a life like I live. Once you find something that fits where it's supposed to, you don't keep looking. <laughs> you get where I'm coming from. I ain't saying I'll never want another pair. I'm saying these are gonna be here for a long, long time. Even my other pair, like I'm saying, I don't plan on throwing those away. <laughs> I feel like I can use those boys at least in the yard. And another thing, I don't know how these are gonna be when they get muddy, like that's gonna be interesting because the other boot, it was like when they got muddy, <sighs> they were a pain to deal with. And when you don't have a water hose to rinse stuff off because it's frozen, it's kind of hard to keep your boots clean. And then with these being tight, I don't know what that's gonna be like. Taking off a muddy boot that you can hardly get off. Ooh. But maybe it'll loosen up. Oh, see, another good one. Nice little traction. Hey, all right, I'm talking too much about that, huh? But actually, no. This morning's walk is all about these boots, in my opinion. In my opinion. I wanna put these boots through their paces and I wanna give an honest review. This is a reactionary video. They don't get no more honest than that right there. My first thoughts. That's what I'm gonna name this, this boot review. 
my first thoughts, the first walk. Hey, and I'm gonna be honest, I feel like we're gonna get some miles out of these. Whew. I don't know. I wish I could ex explain it better so people could understand. Like, if I had words that could make you understand what, like, let me think. Huh. I already said it fits like a glove, but it fits. It fit like. I don't want to say the OJ Simpson glove. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, when I find stuff that work good on my hands, my feet, my eyes, my head, hey, I get happy. <laughs> hey, even, even my pants, what I'm saying is, these things have been the best the best thing oh my goodness yep and then i just only happen to like them in one color but i'm saying hey 511 is my favorite pants y'all i don't care i've never had a pants that a, a, a pant or whatever you call it <laughs> that has been better like period i, I like stuff i could do everything in period and it worked. And I'm saying, they worth it to me. Because I feel like I don't spend nearly as much money on things like that. Especially now. Oh my goodness. With me only wearing one color, nobody ever knows how many days I didn't wear them for. That was the best thing the military ever taught me. It's like, man, stop making, letting people put a standard on you. Hey, when I was a kid, people would be like, man, you wore that? already this month you wore that already this week it's like so <laughs> last i checked i bought it to wear right this ain't that deep Ooh, it's solid oh i thought it was gonna break through no such luck i don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing it didn't break through i was trying to see what them boots was gonna do anyway Yep, I got my favorite pair of boots that I wear every day. Oh my goodness, I ain't gonna lie. And I went, check this out. So, oh, I was telling y'all about what me and Penny did yesterday. So, after I went skating, uh, I went and cleaned the corner. So I kept cleaning corners and one of the, uh, I cleaned my other son's corner and then a neighbor stopped me and was like, hey man, the plow, they push snow all up in front of my house. I ain't got nowhere to park. How much you charge me to? I said, man, how much is worth to you? <laughs> I'm out here having fun. The only thing is I didn't have my camera ready. Oh, I didn't have my camera ready, but I went ahead, knocked that out. He came by, dropped $30 off at the door last night. Hey, yeah. What I'm saying is, when you do something productive, hey, and somebody cash at me yesterday. Thank you, I appreciate it. Ah, uh, much respect. Anyway, it's kind of one of those things that I'm trying to say is when you do something and you head it in a productive way, like I'm getting practice. People are like, man, you out there doing that junk for free. I wouldn't be doing that. Yeah, and what you wouldn't be getting is no experience. I'm saying some things have to be done for free. It's called paying for your knowledge. I am doing this work with Penny because I don't know how to operate it. Cleaning the corner is the perfect opportunity for me to look like I'm helping out the whole neighborhood, which I am, and I'm learning at the same time. It's a value in that. I'm saying sometimes when you do something to help out your neighbors, now this is the problem. When you do it and you mess something up, now you still, <laughs> And that's where another problem comes in. Because yesterday I also had a friend hit me up and said, hey, my HOA is looking for somebody to do snow removal in the neighborhood. And I'm like, I'm ready. Only problem is, I ain't got the transportation. But if we could get something set up, I'll come out there and do it. The problem is, when you think like that right there, and you're just jumping at every opportunity, see what happens is there's a whole lot of people in that neighborhood. And I can get out there and run into that one person who 
It don't matter. I could chip a piece of their grass out and they want to cause a stink. I'm saying it's so many things that can happen. You got to be careful when you jump at every opportunity. And what I'm saying is right now, I know I'm not ready. Clearly I'm not. I don't have a vehicle to do so. But these are the type of opportunities that I say they present themselves just from somebody seeing my videos of cleaning my cul-de-sac. I'm saying I'm getting so many daggone people. Well, not so many. Let's not go overboard. But I guess what I'm saying is I'm getting enough traffic that if I felt like I wanted to start a business, I would jump, use my credit, and go out and get it. But I've done it that way before, and I'm going to tell you, it ain't done nothing but just caused more stress in my life. I got to get this done, done the right way, y'all. I'm serious. There's no more forcing stuff. If it ain't meant to be, I'm telling you, it ain't meant for me. That's how I think. I'm not going back down that road. And that's exactly what I be trying to tell people. When you learn a lesson, you, when you go through something, look, a smart man learns from his own mistakes. A wise man learns from the mistakes of others. What I'm saying is some of these mistakes I didn't made already for myself. I got to be smart enough not to make them again. There we go. And we almost to the end. And these boots, they doing it for the win. Oh yeah, these boys have made me feel like I made a great investment. Yeah, yeah, I said investment because I feel like they're going to be here a long time. I feel like I'm going to get my money's worth out of these. Hey, speaking of that, though, yesterday while I was jumping at, at, at money, look, I had only planned on being out there to clean really one corner because one corner was really bad. Like I said, I'm jumping around, yeah, but I'm almost at the end. One corner was really, really bad. And so I looked down in my tank and I'm like a quarter of a tank. That's all I had. I'm like, I'm good. Quarter of a tank. I go knock this out, come back. I ended up doing three corners, y'all. I looked down at my gas tank in the middle of the dark, and I'm sitting there looking like, oh my goodness, I'm on E. Man, I turned my tractor off immediately. That's what it means, E. Because on the diesel, oh my goodness, you let that boy run out of fuel, boy, that boy ain't cool. Oh, let me take you out of school. So, I'm out there running Penny. Had to walk home, because I couldn't drive her home. I knew I wouldn't make it. I knew she couldn't take it. Oh my goodness, it was no way. She couldn't even fake it. So I went ahead and I was doing everything in my power, trying not to break it. Yeah, went and got that five gallon jerry can, made it all the way back to Penny, filled her up. <laughs> got back to work, man, she started running funny. I'm like, oh my goodness, please don't make me spend no money. I know I got air in the lines. I know I did. Uh, I got on my phone real quick thinking I'm gonna shoot a penny video and say somebody help me But I know too many people are like hey, bruh You ain't been here in a while And now you on this whole new skating kind of style And all these videos you getting they just starting to pile up And that's how I feel ready to give up. No, I'm just playing No, I ain't ready to give up. I'm saying That was me talking for them. Hey, uh anyway your boy made some ends with Penny yesterday, but I almost ran her out of, out of fuel. And that's what I mean, jumping at any money. But I was just so happy to be having fun. And I'm telling you, I knew I was low on fuel. I was thinking, oh, this is going to pay for some fuel in there. And finally, I feel like what he paid me paid for all three corners. I feel like I did it for $10 a corner. <laughs> uh, hey, but I appreciate it. My neighbors be hooking me up. And I'm saying... Uh, I do it because I just be wanting to practice. I be wanting a reason to play with Penny. And right now, I don't really have that many. So, yeah, I jump at any. <laughs> oh, yeah. And there it is. We right here on time. But now, what was I about to tell you about? That's it. We here. Hey, them boots, they did good. They did good just as they should i feel like they were probably twice as much as the boot at uh at cabela's it was i feel like i will get twice as long i wear my boots every day and out of the ones out of cabela i walked those down maybe a little longer than six months that was the second pair that i got from cabela's and they were getting me about six months a piece now the first boot that i ever walked out in it was not insulated at all it didn't really have any heel any sole it was like walking barefoot in the creek and then I moved up to the one like this from Cabela's. 
and I noticed an improvement. I just didn't have the range of motion. I guess what I'm saying is this boot feels like the difference between the two. It gives me the comfort and the high boot of the first boot that I got, the, the lacrosse, lacrosse or whatever it was. And then it gives me the, the sole, the rubber hard sole of the one I just got from Cabela's, the Cabela. So I'm saying this boot is kind of like the best. It's like mixing both of those worlds. And I'm saying if you mix the cost of both of those boots together, that's how much this boot costs. So there it is, y'all. I just gave y'all a full up review of this boot. A whole walk, a whole morning talk, pretty much just about this boot. I might have jumped off a little bit, but I just wanted to let y'all know, this is a pretty good boot. I really like it. Y'all want me to give y'all one more look at it? All right, hold on.